we completely fail to see the you know the reality of, of how bad a situation can be and you know this is the human this is the human brain but you know we have to understand what what particular way we need to think in what particular circumstances and that's something we're we're not always good at sometimes we apply a particular way of thinking in a situation and an environment that is not suitable and that's i guess what this is all about brothers and sisters it's all about just trying to understand how does my brain work sometimes my brain works in a way that is really helpful and sometimes my brain works in a way that is not helpful or it can be outright and downright dangerous and as we talked about that previously right we talked about that in some of the previous cognitive biases that we discussed yeah confirmation bias we talked about that how that can be really really dangerous so brothers and sisters it's a very very interesting subject i guess i could go into it a lot more but it's really really simple it's not really something too complex it is something again that we just need to think about and we need to bear in mind i'm not encouraging everybody to be um you know like crazy risk takers um no i'm not encouraging people to do that and of course that can be that can be problematic as well but all i'm saying is that just recognize that it's just it's something in built into us we just don't like to lose things which is very sensible in one way we've put a lot of energy and we've put a lot of effort into acquiring the things that we've got but in order to benefit yourself both from a materialistic perspective in other words to get more money now often we do need more money and to be in a more financially stable position and there's lots of things you can do with money by the way apart from just spending it on yourself money is really useful to help those other people who are you know who are in need and so on and so forth so you know don't just think of money you know as a spending mechanism for your own enjoyment you know the the ummah needs money the dawa needs money and the people of knowledge need money the poor and the needy need support and the orphans and so on and so forth so brothers and sisters you know it's great to have that intention to uh to enrich yourself so that you can help others and this is the reality like there's no doubt that anybody who is successful as an entrepreneur a successful business person they are people who have taken risks and they have understood this issue of what it means to be risk averse and they have overcome that aversion to risk there's just no doubt this is the reality um and yeah and and what they do is that it is they do realize that yes they will fail but how bad is it really going to be and and often you find that entrepreneurs talk about actually there are many many failures they may be failed 100 times or 1000 times um and of course we see them as the product of that one time they succeeded but they don't even look at failures as failures this is another thing they look at failures as a learning process a failure is not really a failure it's just well that's all, another way not to do it and they will learn from that and keep going so this is another thing a lot of a lot of these issues can be dealt with by thinking about things in a different way well maybe that's a whole different subject and why the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam encouraged us to be optimistic you know as we have the same uh in the organization that i work with one of our part of our code that we try to live by is do your best and trust in allah and that's all you can do you can put everything in place you, you tie your camel as the saying goes tie your camel and then trust in allah so like you, that this not part of islam to take silly risks without 
mitigating as much as possible um, and, and whatever is you know readily and available right Islam does not say you've got a camel so okay just leave it and you know trust in Allah it'll be there when you come back no if you've got a rope you tie your camel tie it to something tether it up so it doesn't run away and then that you know that's what you can do that's uh, the what you need to do the rest is you trust in Allah and that's the sort of attitude that we should have brothers and sisters so um, think about this inshallah 